Well, hello everybody out there. This is Jeremy Williams representing Garden City Ammonia Program and GCAPCoolCast.com. Today we got you another R717 video tip of the day. And I'm out in the technician engine room and um, man, it's like Christmas around here. We had one of the most amazing uh, compressors that was just shipped in and uh, came all the way from Florida. And um, this compressor was uh, part of our sponsor today and I'll talk more about that. But uh, Farley's Refrigeration. Uh, not refrigeration, but refrigeration out of Florida has one of the most amazing cutaways, and uh, he is the sponsor of this video cast today. Him and his brother and the company out there, and we'll talk a little bit more about that as we get going. Uh, so let me get this flipped around here a little bit, and I got my partner here, Adler, is going to help us out today to run this machine. So let's go ahead and get this machine on, Adler, and get it fired up so that we can get some oil pressure built. And uh, what we're going to be talking about today is the application of the compression cycle. So let's just see what we have here. This is a two-piston filter uh, recip compressor. And um, you can see the suction valve, the oil filter, cut away for the oil pump. You can see our crank turning and pistons are moving. We'll get close up to this here in a little bit. And we'll come out over here. Right now we're building a little bit of oil pressure. And over here is our discharge port of this machine. And uh, so let's just go through a, uh, a cycle here a little bit and to look at this for the purposes of the online division, you got to remember guys that on any positive displacement machine, we got four steps um, that the machine has to go through, not like a four cycle combustion engine, but four steps of what we call compression, which is going to be more similar to a two stroke. Uh, we got a suck, we got a trap, we got to compress and we got to release. And let's see if we can't make that happen on this particular machine. So let's start over here, Adler, and let's start off with our suction valve coming in. So we got all of our ammonia gases that's going to be coming in, going through the suction valve. It's going to be coming through the suction intake this direction. And as we come inside the machine, uh, the suction port right here, we're going to have this sitting there. And the suction gas is going to come into that yellow manifold. Me and Adler is going to change positions here. And Adler, hold that flashlight right there, if you will. And when that suction gas comes into this manifold from that suction port, you got our intake sleeves right here and um, the gas is trying to get over here into this piston and you can see it going up and down right now moving now if we were in a loaded position it should compress if we're unloaded it's just going to wish it right back into the suction manifold on this yellow cavity here and if the gases get compressed they're going to go through the discharge check valve which is on the top side you might see these little holes right here uh, right underneath the spring and these springs or in the discharge manifold so anything that's red right here and as that gas comes out you'll see that we have a big separation here on the manifold of the body between suction yellow and discharge and if we're successful we'll come out this valve right here and that would be the discharge gas going to what would be an oil separator on this particular machine a lot more we're going to go through but that's kind of the cycle Gases come in, cylinder's got to create less pressure, gases move into the cylinder as long as we got a ceiling suction ring where it needs to be and we're in a compression mode, we're compression. Throws it into the discharge manifold and uh, from there, most likely on its way to a condenser if this is a single stage compressor. Uh, so now we'll focus on the oil. Me and Adler will switch spots here again one more time and uh, let's see what's happening down here into the crankcase area. So Adler, let's get the light on down there if you will. On the very, very bottom, we might switch flashlights here too. We got a backup somewhere. Let me grab it here real fast. Looking on the back side of this machine, we can see the uh, oil heater and the oil sight glass. But down here in the very base, you probably see what is the screen for the suction trap of the pickup tube for the oil filter and uh, for the oil pump. And then we got it turning over here. Man, this thing is amazing. Um, and what's really neat is watching this thing load. So here's our oil pressure gauge. We're up to about 45 PSI right now, enough to load this machine. So we're going to take this flashlight, and Adler's going to load it up for us. And if you guys will watch that piston in the back, keep moving it, Adler. Let's unload it now. Now let's load that baby. Now unload it. Now unload it. And what's happening here is with that oil pressure established on this machine, it could be pneumatics as well, you'll see the suction ceiling ring back here now. Let's load it and unload it a little bit there. Boom, that's going back down. So when we are around the slots of the cylinder sleeve, we're compression. When it's lifted off the springs that are down here, we are completely unloaded. So let's give it a couple of loads and unloads there, buddy. Boom, and pretty neat what's happening here and what's taking place. So let's talk about this a little bit more before we get too much into this. we got to really thank this sponsor. This thing came all the way from Florida. Um, Farley's Refrigeration. Man, this company's been around since 1978. Uh, Jake and Farley's dad started this company 
And these two guys have just taken it and just completely uh, just changed the way that um, industrial refrigeration should be done. I really like them. I mean, they're a national contractor vendor, and anything that you would need from an industrial refrigeration part, if they ain't got it, they can get it, that's for sure. So make sure that you thank these guys. Here's some of their information. Call them today. I bet you what, if you call them today, they might get you some free samples of some, I don't know, sulfur sticks, stickers. They got shirts. They got everything. Tell them that Jeremy sent you from Garden City Ammonia Program and uh, see what kind of freebies they can get for you. So looking at all this, man, things are going great. We had a lot of classes happening this week, three of them in totality. We, we finished off some PSM classes. We got some boiler ones, some ammonia ones. We got a CO2 class kicking off next week. Uh, we also have a film crew coming in and going to be doing some shots of all of our equipment. We got all kinds of new videos coming out. And uh, all that filming will be taking place on Saturday, which is tomorrow. And uh, we're going to be making some cartoon industrial money refrigeration systems, seeing the refrigeration from the inside out. Uh, I couldn't be more excited about having this cutaway here and being able to use it. I got me an awesome hat today and uh, an awesome shirt, and Ather did as well. And uh, we're going to be signing off here. And uh, until we see each other again, let's keep it in the pipes.